guys, so I'm back today for the April 3-in-1 collab, which is hosted by Donna, who is Little Spaceman Paper Crafts here on YouTube. And this month's uh, three items we have to use in our crafting projects were a metal embellishment or wooden embellishment, ribbon, and then any craft item of our choice. So my wedding anniversary is Thursday. It's the 4th of April and we have been married for four years. So I thought I'd make my husband a card. Now, I don't actually have any metal embellishments, which I was really surprised by because I've dug deep and I can't find any. And then the wooden embellishments that I had are all Christmas. So I did manage to find an ice cream uh, metal embellishment there. And back in October last year, we went to Devon as a family and it was actually really hot on one day. So I thought I'd use the ice cream um, to put with the photo just because one, it's the only metal embellishment I had. And two, we did have ice cream when we went to Devon in October. So I wanted to make a different card for my husband, um, one that I'd never made before. So I went on Pinterest, found this card and it was in German. Um, <laughs> It was all in German, but what I could make out were the numbers and they were in centimetres. So what I've done is I've converted them to inches and I'm just going to make it with you. OK, so first of all, you need a piece of card, which is 11 inches across by four and one eighth inches down. And then you need to score it. I have got the scores. I've even written all this down for you. So you need to score it at two and three quarters, five and a half and eight and a quarter. OK, so there we go. And then on the on the on this bit, your back bit, not the mat in the main bit, what you need to do then is at five and a half um, up, five and a half centimetres up. Sorry. You want to mark it and then cut across, draw a line and cut across there. OK, so I've done this already. So I'm going to do it on this side as well, just to show you how I cut it with the paper trimmer. So I've marked five and a half centimetres up, drawn a line, and then I'm going to put it in my paper trimmer and just cut. OK, so cut it across like that. And then my blades have gone on my paper trimmer at the moment. So it's leaving rough edges and I haven't got new ones. So I'm just going to trim that then. I've got this bit here and these mats are, what have I put for these? Oh, I haven't even written them down. Oh yeah, I have. So they're four inches down and two and five eighth inches across, okay? And then all you're gonna do on this mat for this end is go up five, 5.2 centimeters up, draw a line and cut again. So that's what I've done there. I've already stuck some double-sided sticky tape on the back to save time. I am rushing now because I've just heard my husband come home. So I get really embarrassed filming when anyone's here. But he's gone upstairs, so I'll quickly try and get this video done. The double-sided sticky tape is the bit that takes the longest part. Drives me insane. So let's just quickly... Do this make sure you check everyone out in the club because they are all seriously talented ladies so there we go like that and then this bit so in total you're going to need four of the mats which measure two and five eighths across and four inches down and then obviously two of them then you cut at 5.2 centimeters up that's the only one i didn't convert is the cutting bit there the rest i converted into the inches so i'm just going to put my mats down there there we go and then you're going to need two pieces of i've lost my bit of red card no i haven't there it is so you're going to need two pieces of plain card which measures five and a quarter inches down and four inches across and then for the back you're going to need pattern paper which measures three and three quarters across and five inches down and I've already stuck the back pieces on here and then I've just double sided taped the two pieces here so 
I'm going to just sort these bits out first and then show you how to do the front bit. I don't think I've put enough double-sided sticky tape on, but I'm rushing now because I've just used him come downstairs as well. <laughs> okay. And now I've gone a bit quieter. Okay, so you're gonna take your card and you don't want it to go right at the bottom. I'm hoping this is right now. Put it on straight like that. And then I'm gonna go this bit. I'm gonna line it up that way first. it up like that way that's easier for me and then stick it on so then it opens like that that's how it opens and then your front mats then I've done the front mats slightly bigger than the inside mats I've done the front mats four and seven eighths down and three and seven eighths across so this is the one I want for the back but I want to put some on the tutorial the woman used a belly band um, but I don't want to use a belly band because obviously we're supposed to be using ribbon in this video, in this collab for this month. So I'm going to use ribbon instead of a belly band and I'm going to put the ribbon on now in a minute. So that'll be my way of closing it. Sometimes it's easier using wet glue when you're in a rush because double-sided sticky tape don't always want to... There we go. So I, I picked this ribbon and I want to put enough. So I'm just going to put some double-sided sticky tape down there just to hold it in place. Oops. There we go. Leave enough so I can tie it up. Actually, this is the back piece, so I need to put them on the back piece as well. Good job I checked first. So, pass the ribbon there. And then I've got this bit for the back. I'm just going to place it down. Oops. There we go. I should have done these pieces bigger actually, longer. That's fine. And then the front piece then. What I've done as well is I've printed out photos, only two, just to use inside the card. So this is my front piece now. Okay, so I just made a mistake. You don't want to go and cover the back with the ribbon, so I have just cut it there. And what I'm going to do, this bit of ribbon that I've got now, you just want to... Instead of connecting it through the back, so you want to take the two separate ends like that, put it around, and then I'm going to tie it like this and have it like that, okay? So I won't tie it now because I've got to put the photos in. So on the inside, I've got this picture here, and that is the one where my husband is putting the ring on my finger. I thought it'd be a perfect picture because of obviously our anniversary. And he's just jeered what card I'm making him now. <laughs> then on this side then I just have that picture. And like I said about that picture, that's why I wanted to use it because I needed to use the metal embellishment for that. So 
I'm just going to stick the photos down. Put the photos in there. embellishment whoops to go there so I don't know how I'm gonna stick that down I think I'm gonna stick it down with some wet glue uh, right. there we go and just put that there And what I'm going to do is obviously that's when I'll put my message there and I'll probably decorate it with some stickers. But that is my card. So that's how it stands like that. And then that's how it looks open. And like I said, I will tie it like this. So it's going to go round like that. Then make a little pretty bow like that. Obviously, I'll tie the ribbon up a bit better but that's how it looks there so please give this video a big thumbs up guys and make sure you check all the other ladies out in the collab and take care bye guys